what is good what is popping everybody hope we're having a great day today i got a new world video for you that i think you're gonna like now before on the channel we've done some stuff with some farming it's a little bit more you know direct with it was like skinning or dragon glory this is going to be a pretty lax way to get a lot of different things and it's pretty general it doesn't necessarily get you one thing or the other it gets you kind of a lot of everything you can do this by yourself the duo trio a whole group of five it doesn't matter because as you can tell by probably the map in the title we're doing chest farming now i've done a bunch of different areas in the map trying to find a good chest farm and i find this one to be the best now it's in weaver's fen and i already know weaver's fen is not the prettiest place some people like it it's atmospheric but it's swampy and most people don't like swamps and yes sometimes it's a little annoying to traverse but to be honest it's pretty worth it this is probably the best route i can find and you can do this over and over again it's like continual it takes about 50 minutes to an hour to do and it takes about an hour for the chest to respawn in the circuit that we're going to do and that is perfect right because even if you finish 10 minutes faster than they respawn it gives you time to sort through your inventory sell some stuff do whatever right but this is like i said the, the best one i have found but anyway before we get into that you already know if you do enjoy this make sure to give it a thumbs up it helps me out a lot it lets me know you enjoy this kind of content and lets youtube know you enjoy this kind of content and gets out to more people subscribe if you haven't already this is the second to last video we're doing for the rest of october it's been a wild ride it's been a lot of fun got a lot of great content on this channel go check it out subscribe like i said if you haven't already be part of this really awesome community and anyway guys so that being said let's get right into the video like i said we're doing this chest farming and this can be anything from you're going to get a lot of rigants here crafting materials provisions so like foods and stuff you can get really good uh, cooking recipes furnishing recipes so it's a really great place and it's just because of chests right and we have we see here there's a lot of different kinds of chests there's carpentry chests tannery chests uh, supply chests alchemy chests all of it right and like I said, this is going to be about an hour or so, and you could do this over and over though. So if you have four or five hours, you just want to chill, listen to music, watch a YouTube video like this one, or watch a TV show or something. You can have it on while you're doing this. And as long as you are probably about above 40, 45, you're not going to have too hard of a time with any of these enemies. Really, I'm going to go through during the video and kind of pop in. Uh, and explain some areas that might have some higher level enemies or, you know, some elites to make sure you just are aware of them so you don't go over there and think that it's, you know, cash money and no kind of danger or anything. Now, that's, only, again, only going to be mattering for people that probably aren't anything above 45. There's like a 140 elite, I think, in this run, and there's a couple 35s. So if you are around that level, you can still do this. You can still probably even do it solo, but you might want to grab a buddy or two, and it might be a little bit easier to do this. And again, just because you grab somebody doesn't mean your drops are any worse. So you want to put on as best luck gear as you can. I'm going to show you here in a second my inventory. And I'm going to show you the inventory afterwards, after the run, just so you can kind of see and get a general idea of what you can expect out of this. You're going to get a lot of probably not great weapons, especially if you're a higher level. But you're going to get a lot of crafting rigants, some good recipes. And again, all this stuff is relative to based off of how much luck's, uh, luck you have on you. Your, your trade skills and stuff and how far you are so it's uh it's all relative but just know that this is a really great place to do at any level so anyway i'm going to draw you guys a route now and make sure if you can you should go up and grab these this fast travel point mallory's refuge now there's also this one down here called south uh, pestilence shrine it's a pretty good place to start but i like starting up here and i'll show you guys why when we start getting into the drawing but if you don't have these on uh, these fast travels unlock i'd probably recommend doing it it's not that very far from Weaver's Fen itself. You just take this path up here and you get right up into there. So like I said, let's get into drawing. Uh, don't mind the color of all this because, and the pencil, because it's just to help you guys see the route I take. So we start here, right? And we go right to here. And then I'm going to hit up here. And I go across the bridge all the way to here. Grab this. And then I go down to grab this. It takes me right over to here and I get all these chests here. And then I'll go back up this way into here. Go through the little, it's a little like path where you go up and down. And then from there, you're going to go here, down to here, into here. And then you go down to here, up. You can get this one if you want. I don't like it. It's not as linear. It's, it's kind of a little bit more out of the way than I'd like it to, but you absolutely can grab this one. And then I go here, to here, to here, to there, to these four, then to here, up to here there and then finishing off here and then you take you right back to Weaver's Fen. And as you can see, there's I want to say about 20, 25, maybe even 30 chests here. I could count, but uh, but there, there's a lot as you can tell, right? And there's a lot around here too. You can obviously grab whatever you can. And these are only tier two chests. So let me actually show you on this map. So as you can see, shout out to New World 
uh, database, by the way. I, I, I meant to say this earlier, but this is the map that we're using. The link's going to be from the description below. Um, it's This is their interactive map. It's called mapgenie.io. So super shout out to them. This is a really great resource for you guys to look at. But as you can see, I have large chest and spirit shrine open. These are the only things that I have open, right? So you're only seeing tier two chest large, and that's great. That's what we're looking for. Those are going to give you the best kind of bang for your buck. This is where you can find some higher end crafting recipes and all that kind of good stuff. Now, as I can turn on these minor chests, and as you can see, there's going to be a lot of minor chests throughout this thing. But we're not focusing on that in this video. You can absolutely grab those. But no, those are obviously going to give you kind of not that many things and that not the highest tier stuff. There is elite chest up here. There's some three. You absolutely can go grab them. And I do usually on my first run of the day, but because elite chests take 24 hours to respawn, that's why I don't. I'm not going to really include it because this is something you can do continuously. You can do it on a cycle, a circuit, and it's really nice. Anyway, let's jump into the game. and I'm going to show you guys my inventory and... We're gonna go from there all right so we're back in game like i said we're up here at this mallard's refuge and then my inventory you can see right now i have this is my lucky around that i'm gonna throw on i'm gonna drop these i don't really care about having these because i just again i want to show as much as i can without having more in my inventory I'm, I'm not gonna drop these mana potions but we have 17 here so it's pretty easy so just from here we're gonna kind of see what um what we got and if you're wondering why my gold's so low i just bought a house okay i'm not just i'm not broke on well i'm broke on purpose but I'm not that broke. But anyway, all right, let's just jump into it. All right, so I'm back here real quick that I just wanted to show you guys. the. I'm on this part right here. And this. I just want to uh, give a quick mention that this bridge does have a couple elites like this. Silver elites 35. Again, nothing crazy, but I just want to make sure you guys know. <clears throat> For our, those of you that are around this level range or maybe lower, just be wary because you will be encountering some of those. All right, that's it for now. Be back later. Back here. And we are going to be in the top. Now this left hand side over here middle chest right here just want to let you know that there is a 40 elite here uh named so be wary if you can't take it on by yourself you might need a couple people to help you out but you know if you are 60 and you're just chest farming this should be a breeze nothing is hard hope she's mad at me all right here we have another named elite this is uh master fisherman holt we are here we're on right below where we just last were I heads up that there's another named elite here again he's only 34 so it shouldn't be too much trouble but if you are around that level or below you will probably need some help but as you can see that he's guarding the chest right over there all right we'll be back again all right so we're back again we're pretty much right next to the same place we were just here now we're here in this area um there is an elite here i killed him and then i remembered that i needed to record it so yeah right here there's going to be a one of those coffin dude elites just heads up 34 i think he was Again, just, just heads up. All right, we're back here. And now we're in this little cave right here, Hazel's Cave. Just want to let you know that there is a uh, little named Elite here. Just a heads up. She is only level 33. But nonetheless, just want to let you guys be aware of it. And she dropped something. And then let go so we can see we're going to grab this alchemy stockpile here. Anyway, we'll be back in a bit again. All right, so here I am at the bottom right over here. And there's two, there's supposed to be chests that are here. Right now, I just wanted to say it looks like it might be bugged because I cannot go through here. Um, I don't know if you guys have encountered this or if you guys know a fix of this, but let me know down below. But uh, yeah, so right now you are not able to actually get the chest in here. And just know that there are two little level 35 like elites that will spawn here usually that you have to kill. Oh, you really? But yeah, so I just want to let you guys know that, that this it maybe maybe avoid this one for right now and just go up to here because it looks like this might be bugged and we can't get in. So yeah, on to the next one. I just want to say here I am here at this go oh, way up coming more. This part right here, there is gonna be a bit of uh, elites here. Thirty fives again. Most of these things that I you see that I'm coming through with, it's just about them. Um, being a little bit of elite, so if you're doing a 35 to 40-ish level or something, um, just be wary of it. It's not like it's impossible, but it's not going to be as easy as it is of like this guy here, 60, that's going to go in here and be able to free shot him. <laughs> so just wanted to come show you guys this place. Yep, it's right here, and I got to finish up right here, and then I'm going to be done, and I'll you uh, meet me back and we were fan, and I'll show you what I got. All right, guys, and I think that's going to end up the chest run now i ended up back here rather than going to weaver's i know my semi last uh, little clip that i brought in uh, that i was going to weaver's but we're ending up here and i just wanted to show you guys kind of what we go, go over what i got and give you guys my final thoughts on this stuff so as you can see we're pretty full up on our uh, inventory here now i did already like dismantle one or two of the grays earlier so i could get a little bit more room but as you can see we got a lot of gear now nothing super crazy especially if you're the higher level like this is you know a 412 40 but 
go down here. I got a couple purples. Now I will spoil alert. I could probably tell I didn't get any legendaries. Um, that's just you know how RNG works, but it doesn't mean that this doesn't work. As you can see, I got a plethora of different kind of gear. I'm going to be the salvage for repair parts, a little bit of gold, some scraps or whatever. We're going to go down here, get some food from the provision crates. There's only a couple of provision crates, so it's not like go this isn't the craziest for actual food. Now it's great for food recipes, but not necessarily food. Some crafting mods. Then we're going to go up here. We got some really good craft amount of crafting regans, right? We got some uh, tier four ones. We got a lot of tier twos and ones. We got some iron ore. Now that obviously doesn't come from the chest. I did find a node, and you already know that if you find an iron node, you gotta you gotta snap that stuff. That stuff's like crack in this game. Got some different moats, and then I didn't get any crazy recipes, but that's okay, right? This this took me about fifty minutes, and you could, again I could go back and do it again. And to be honest, as I was coming back to the shrine here. I opened up one of the chests actually had already respawned and I grabbed this and this, I picked it up right there. So, you know, you never know when you're going to get it. The higher luck you have on, obviously the better. And you already know how those bonuses kind of work. So just throw it on. And again, it took me 50 minutes casual. It didn't take, it was no sweat off my back. Now, yes, I'm a higher level than the enemies that I was encountering. So it wasn't that hard. So if you do, if you are around the level of this zone, it's going to take you probably a little bit longer than 50 minutes to an hour just because you have to deal with all the enemies. But you're 60, man. You're going to breeze through this stuff like nothing. You could do this for a couple hours and end up with a couple hundred Reagans, probably some, a couple legendaries. Is what you're probably going to get at least one, I would say, after doing. I'm not going to quote this for sure to promise anything, but I would be surprised after three, four, maybe five times you don't get a legendary. Now, that might sound like a lot, but honestly, we're not doing a lot, right? You could watch a video while you're doing this like this. You could be watching YouTube. You could watch watching Netflix, whatever it is. So you can watch Squid Games. You could do anything. So it's just not as it's a way to just kick back and relax while still getting stuff relevant and, and useful to you so anyways like i said that's going to do it if you did enjoy this make sure to hit that thumbs up helps me out a lot let you know you enjoy this kind of content let you two know you enjoy this kind of content and gives that to more people it really does help out subscribe if you haven't already we're doing like i said this is the second to last video for the rest of october it's been a lot of fun so subscribe down below and like i said both those things are free and it helps me out a lot i do appreciate you just watching shout out to the community you guys have been great much love to you guys. It's been really awesome uh, seeing you guys comment and interacting with you guys. And I got a lot more coming. Tomorrow's going to be a little bit, a little bit of a fun video. So make sure you, you uh, subscribe to be around for that. And anyway, guys, I think that's going to do it. And uh, until next time, take it easy.